My grandfather used to say, believe nothing that you hear, and only half of what you see. What he meant was that people often lie, so one must be aware that people can be quite deceiving. However, as video technologies have evolved and special effects have gotten much better than they used to be, believing only half of what we see in video would be a good thing to consider. Nowadays, people cannot always know when something in film is real and when something is fake. Our eyes want to believe, but our mind tells us otherwise. Yet sometimes, we choose to believe the wrong things, and we are tricked by an image that has been constructed to deceive us. But is it really that easy to trick someone into believing something simply by showing them a video? Can we know what is real and what is fake? Uh, no. I'm just kidding. Did, did I deceive you for a second? <laughs> Um, do I think that people can be easily deceived? Yeah, absolutely. That's almost the whole purpose of, of film, is to be deceived to a certain degree. There's a concept in film called suspension of disbelief, and so the idea is that, especially when it comes to fiction, that um, you're so engrossed in the story that you don't really pay attention to things that might not actually make sense. Um, a great example of this is Superman. Of course, um, you know, we, we believe in the world that the, that the storytellers have created. Um, and in that world, no one ever questions, you know, when Superman li like is pushing a building, that it's impossible. Not only, I mean, it's virtually impossible that, like, you know, an alien will come down and do all these things. But it's literally, physically impossible for one hand to push an entire building without the building crumbling around it. Because... The, you know, it just doesn't make any sense that you know, I'm not like this isn't about debunking Superman, but the idea is that we don't we never question these things because it's Superman, and uh, and so we we've been deceived. In fact, film uh, travels across the screen at 24 frames per second, and that's an optical illusion, persistence of vision, and so we're being deceived right there anyway. We think that these moving images um, are actually moving when in fact we're just seeing pictures at a rapid rate, but. I think maybe the essence of your question is more about documentary and like are we can we be deceived in terms of like media and so yes absolutely and that happens all the time and it happens even more and more frequently and and because of the internet um, there's nothing to stop it and, and I think that that's uh, starting to become a problem hashtag Trump <laughs> There's a great author, uh, Giovanni Sartori, an Italian author. He has a great book called uh, Homo Videns. He basically proves that uh, humans are visual on top of any other sense. We can actually see as far as we can the stars, the universe, but we cannot touch it, we cannot uh, smell it, we cannot hear it. So we rely on our view for most of the things we actually relate to. Um, I think we are, we're working with the, with the film the moment we are actually uh, seeing it and letting things come in without questioning them. Uh, it, the brain cannot process all the little details because the brain would consume so much energy just by analyzing and over intellectualizing everything that we just let, let it in and then we're gonna just get the, the big picture of things. So as a, as a system, as a living organism, we have to just bring things in and let them be in the big aspect what we want. And then there's context. You know, if you have a lower third graphic that says it's from sort of some sort of random news organization, people will believe it. You know, I saw it on this news channel, even though they might not have ever seen the news channel. And a perfect example of that is The, uh, is the Onion. Um, the Onion is a, a satire uh, magazine newspaper slash news channel um, where it delivers no actual real news, but so, so many people who don't know The Onion will tune in and watch The Onion and be like, I can't believe this is happening! And because it looks real. 
um, and I think context is really important. So if somebody claims to know what's going on, if somebody claims to be coming from a position of authority, um, then it's very easy to say that uh, you know anything that you are, are bringing forth is factual. Um, again, <laughs> hashtag Donald Trump. Uh, Donald Trump just had like a whole campaign where he would just spout things out um, that aren't true. Um, and because people don't typically like to fact check, then, uh, then it's very easy to just manipulate because he's coming from a position of power and the context of, of which allows people to believe much more easily. We always try to avoid conflict at the end. We, um, we tend to be optimistic in general. We have to filter things. We mostly remember things that we like. Um, the experience that you had at some point tends to be obviously filled with bad things usually, but uh, we try to um, forget those. Selective amnesia, it's called. Uh, and that happens also in, in filming what we see. We try to filter everything because we want to believe in something. We sometimes believe that um, what we see is real just because it relates to everything around us. There's this saying that says uh, we have to see in order to believe. The reality is that we have to believe in order to see as well. Mm -hmm.